When it's time to create a discussion for one of your courses, what you can do is click on the discussions icon right here on the left hand navigation. And up here, you see plus discussion. You would click that. And this is where you would give your discussion a title. Down here in this box, you can put anything you want. You have access to the WYSIWYG editor bar, which is here. So if you would like to enter a video, you can put a video in here. If you want to enter audio content, you can record audio content right here and put that in here. Links, pictures, whatever you want can go right in here. But for right now, I'm just going to type directions. Down here you have options. You're going to want to make sure to click that box to allow threaded replies. Users must post before seeing replies. This is in case it's important that the students are not able to see what other students have posted. Enable podcast feed. This is just if you have a podcast. Most people will not use that. For the most part, discussions will be and should be graded. If you click that box, you're going to get some more options that pop up. It's extremely important that if you are going to separate your students into discussion groups, that you indicate it's a group discussion right away. If you click that, it's going to ask you about your groups, but you need to have those groups set up in advance. I'm not going to do this right now, but it'll ask you what groups do you want to assign it to and you'll already have that group created okay so make sure that if you're going to do that click the box i'm not going to do that for this example so i'm going to leave it unclicked give it the points possible you can leave it at zero if you're deciding to not grade it but that's usually not the case display grade as gives you options of how you want the students to see their grade Complete incomplete is a green check mark or a red X. Assignment group is if you have assignment groups in your course. For example, I would probably create a group called discussions and then I would choose discussions out of here. Usually peer reviews are not done in discussions. Assign to, this is where you can assign this to a specific person, but I usually leave that alone, and then give it a due date. I typically do not fill out available from and available until, just because it's just one thing that I have to uh, remember to do. Once I'm finished, I go ahead here and click Save. and my discussion is created. So if I go back to the discussion tab, you will see the discussion that I created. The circle with the line through it means it is not published, which also means the students will not be able to see it. So if you want the students to see this, click it, and if you see a green circle with a check mark in it, it is published for students to view. This right here, means that you are subscribed to that forum, which means you will get a notification when posts happen there. I always subscribe to course questions or your virtual office. Uh, the notifications you receive will depend on what you signed up to receive in your account. Okay, so that's your discussion and it is ready to go.